In this next step, we're going to put on the little latches that go onto the fins. Now, since this is hard to see, I got a latch here that's uh, not been stained. Um, the latch can go on either two ways. It could go on this way or this way. One way is correct, one way is not. This is not the correct way. And uh, basically, if you look at the little latch right here, um, there's a little notch for the rubber band. That notch has to go forward on the rocket tube towards the front end. So flip it around, and it's going to go on that way. It's going to go on there just like that with the, uh, the notch going forward. Um, we're going to need to use the other little dowel here. And like before, we're going to need a little piece that's about 5 eighths inch long. Um, this time I'm going to cut it with a hobby knife. My little squares here are a half inch, so I'm just going to go a little bit further than that. And just roll it back and forth until it snaps off. And I always put, I straddle the, the blade to keep it from flying away. Uh, you can, uh, as before, you can clean up the ends. And if you round off one edge or take off the little corners, the corner, uh, it makes it uh, go into the um, latch a little bit easier. It's going to be like that. It's a little bit long. I can I could sand it down now or I could sand it down later. Um, I'll leave it. <laughs> okay, so here's my uh, fin. Oops, better I put it in there wrong. Okay. And find the hole. to turn it upside down so you can see the, where the hole's coming through. Okay, I'm in. Okay, make sure it, it, it swivels easily. And as before, we're going to put a little fillet of glue around there. And of course, our glue bottle's clogged again. Have a paper towel ready. sides. Alright, so that's the latch and we're going to do the other two and I'm just going to move ahead and then I'll come back and do this later. Um, these are the legs that we did before, and remember the last time we touched the legs, we put in the, the pins up here in the top. Um, now you can see it overhangs the edge quite a bit. Um, you can sand that off, and I think I will, or you could leave it like that. Um, if you leave it like that, you'll notice on the, on the pockets right here, there's this cutout, and that cutout is for that pin in case that pin sticks up too high. Uh, but if you want to make it look a little bit nicer, we can sand it. Let me get my sandpaper. This is some 100 grit sandpaper. And that way, if I can sand it down, I'll go a little faster. A lot better than it was before. You can go f all the way flush if you want to. It, um, it doesn't matter. Uh, as long as the pin doesn't fall out, uh, it's fine. Um, if, like I said before, if, if it's raised up a little bit, that's fine too. So you can see on this pin, it, it's a lot flatter. And I also sanded a little bit onto the edge. 
that's okay. I, will, I, I had planned on coming back and restaining that pin, and I'll just restain the wood there, and it'll look uh, brand new, shiny. Well, it won't be shiny, but it'll look really good. Okay, I, I did that pin now because it's easier to sand it when it's not attached to the rocket. Um, so when we attach it to the rocket, we want that little notch. You see the little notch right there? We want that little notch um, outboard from the tube. So that's going to go in there like that. And I had previously cut my pins from the last time when we cut them from over there, so I still have those. And I'll just drop that pin through the hole. And now this time, before when we put this, this um, top one in, it, sometimes it was tight. This side, it's almost always loose because the fork can spread quite easily. So now we want to give it a pinch to make sure that it doesn't spread. And then we're going to put a fillet of glue around it. We're going to do both sides. Okay, I'm going to let all the, I'm going to go ahead and do the other pins and the other legs and let the glue dry. Um, and as we did up here, we can sand them down if we want, and then we can restain them. And uh, I don't think I'll show you that in the video, but uh, so our next video after this, we're pretty close to being done. Um, I'm going to touch up some of the paint that I marred earlier, and then in the next video, uh, we can start go ahead and putting on the decals.